All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Vic, a.k.a. Mr. Glass, and you know what, man? A lot of you guys have been asking me what kind of build I'm going to go with for next gen, and I am getting ready to show you. I think this is what will be the most dominant ISO guard on next gen. I really love this build, and I hope you guys love it as well. Go right there. Okay, requires seven foot one there. Built, because I like a little bit more size for this type of player. Alright guys, so this is how it's gonna look. 99 driving dunk with an 83 three-point shot with 76 free throw. We're going to max this out. We're going to max this out. We're going to max this out. We're going to come with about an 88 here, I believe. We're going to put one more in the vert so we qualify for our elite contacts. We are going to upgrade our stamina all the way because we're going to be dribbling. Alright, now, this is where it gets a little tricky. We are going to pump up our skill to an 86. And our perimeter to an 85. I'm going to show you guys why. Alright. So. Uh, shoot. My bad. I'm adjusting values. Um. Alright. So. As you guys see, 85 perimeter defense gives you gold clamps. We're not going to be able to get it up to Hall of Fame, so that's why that's there. Uh, same thing with steel. We obviously want a high enough steel to where we can steal the ball. The 86 gives us gold over here. Alright, so that's pretty obvious. Now the rest of our stats are going into our... Pass accuracy. So we're going to make that like right there. And then enough close shot to where we get our 20th finishing badge. And that's the build, guys. 20? 20, 23? I didn't know we got 23. I think I may have messed up something. But hey, 23 is better than 22, which is what I got on mine. So, give you guys an extra playmaking badge. Also, get you an 80 free throw. Because that's the only thing we can upgrade that's left. And here you guys have the build. Alright? So, I mean, we could have done more midi. I don't shoot midis. If you like mid-range shooting, all you gotta do is tone this down just a little bit. Slide it over to mid-range. I don't take midis. I don't feel like I need to do that. So that'll go right there, okay? Um, my primary takeover with this build is... Oh, that's... Hold on. Hold on. That's why I did that. My bad. I take all that back that I just said. Alright, so that should, theoretically, hopefully, give me... Yes. Ankle breaking shots and spot up precision are our takeovers. Yes, the build is complete. It is a two way inside out score. And this is the build that I will be using. I'm going to show you guys all of the badges that I'm going to put on this build. So that way you guys know what to do when you make it. Alright? So, Limitless Takeoff, we're putting that on Hall of Fame. Putting Posterizer on Hall of Fame. Putting Slithery on Hall of Fame. Alright, so, obviously, you want to be able to put that there. So that way you can't, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But, obviously, people are going to try to strip you when you go to the hole this year. Especially if they're smaller, like if you're guarding guarded by another guard or you're not guarded by you know a seven foot monster which you're not gonna they're not gonna want to guard you because you're too fast 
Alright, so you want unscriptable there. Now, the reason that we went with certain categories is because that gives us... C83 three-point shot gives us that. Uh, we definitely want Sniper on Hall of Fame. We definitely want... I do a lot of spin back, so I want that there. Um, I mean, you got seven badges left. You could go like this. And then maybe a little catch and shoot, or clutch shooter, or something like that. I mean, that's fine right there. If you want to use that, that's, that's perfectly fine. I think that's what I'm going to wind up going with, but... I, shooting badges this year are kind of iffy for me. Now, here's something that I think most people don't realize is that uh, if you do your college thing, you can plus four a category in badges. Uh, I went with playmaking. So really, I have 26. Okay, so this is gold. This is gold. This is gold. We are going to make... This gold, this gold, and we have one more badge. So, I guess that last badge will probably go to Stop and Go or Unpluckable. Probably do Unpluckable, just because. Now, Quick Chain is a badge that I'm not sure you, you really need, but it does help, I think. So, we'll, we'll go ahead and go with it. Now, for this, we have 16 defense. We're gonna go with pickpocket. We're gonna go with clamps. Silver pick dodger. Menace. And we have one more, so we'll go ahead and throw that one on right there. Alright, so that's the setup, guys. That's all the badges. You guys, if you have any questions in the comments, I will definitely try to answer them. I hope that this build will help you guys because I know that the next gen builder is very difficult. Again, it's a small forward, 179 pounds, uh, 6'5". It's not going to be big. You're not going to be able to play lockdown defense on this build unless you're talking about taking the ball from your defender, which is big this year. right? So that's what we're trying to do with this build. We're trying to be an offensive juggernaut. That can still stay in front of our guy on defense and take the ball from him. Okay? I hope you guys enjoy this build. If you did, make sure you let me know in the comment section. Please give a like to this video as it is our first next-gen builder vid. I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Until next time, don't break nothing. We're out.